The Commissioner of Commerce, Industry and Tourism, Shewu Usman Adamu, says the essence of the skill acquisition program is to train youth, women and other disabled persons in carpentry, tailoring, welding, plumbing, among others. He says the training is aimed at making them self-reliant and also to tackle the problem of unemployment ravaging the country. Uh, if you look at the population of Kaduna State, uh, over 80% of it is between the age of 18 to 35. That is the age of youth, those that uh, require certain form of training to be engaged. And the main essence of it, uh, as I've told you, is part of the cardinal principle of the government of His Excellency Malan Nasr Ahmad El Rafai, is to bring about employment, to reduce unemployment, thereby creating jobs and increasing the uh, well-to-do uh, level of the people. He says the program will not only help reduce poverty in the state but impact positively to the living standard of the people of Kaduna State as best students from various secondary schools will be selected for the skill acquisition training. Well, previously, uh, students that have been said to be ATC are students that cannot get uh, the required grades to proceed to universities. Uh, all those that are considered weak, they will say, okay, go to the BATCs. But nowadays, if you look at it, when we improve the system with the BATC training, we are going to take students that are best from their respective secondary schools to train them in this skill acquisition. Osman says three business apprenticeship training centers were renovated in Mando, Kagoro, and Sabungari, Zaria, in order to enhance the training. So members of the public should be aware that those BATCs that were renovated are still government-owned BATCs and that the program is a special program because there were insinuations that we have transferred the BATCs to private individuals. But that is not the case. The BATCs still belong to the government. He added that government is also making effort to award contract for the renovation of three other BATCs in Makarfi, Nguam Mohazu and Kachia. Elizabeth Oshinowo, Liberty News.